Hey everyone, Luther here. Welcome back for more Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Uh, this is a retake of this episode because, for whatever reason, Vegas just doesn't want to work with the last recording. That and I seem to have lost my audio recording, so yeah, we're doing this again. <laughs> now, in the last episode, we met Karst, and on our way back to Madra, we also, uh, ran into something called a healing mushroom. Now, if we get back to this couple here... Someone up here. Excuse me, the healing fungus. Is that... Is that one of his most favorite mushrooms? Okay, not doing that voice. Did you climb all the way up those cliffs just to get that mushroom for us? That's the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me. I have to thank you for this. What can I have that a warrior like you would want? That's a tricky one. It's a Mars Jenny. Hey there, guy. And with that, we get, uh, well, we got our fourth Mars Jenny. And with that, Jenna can get another quest upgrade. Banner fried mushrooms. Really? Didn't seem all that big. <laughs> SNES controls! Dirt! Uh, this, we can unquit this card from Jenna, and we can see that Jenna's class is now upgraded to Hex, and with that she gets a whole new set of Synergy, the Aura series. They are fire-type Synergies that heal the entire party, very handy. Now, there is yet another thing we must do in Madra before we depart for Pyrrhus' ship. That is, we will be heading back into the Madra Catacombs. Because there is one last thing we can get here now that we have two of them. Lost on this puddle of water here. We can totally get lost in the catacombs. <laughs> but uh we can go over this way. I believe we're gonna jump across this uh seal that hole here. Never need healing items, but it, yeah. Whoa! Enemies. All let's die immediately. Die! 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 
death! Death to the enemies! Death to all who oppose me! Uh, here in the front room, this is the chest that was on that bookshelf earlier, and it contains a ruined key. Uh, with that, we can... Door unlock. Must be locked. We can unlock this door with the ruined key. Oh my gosh, it is, it is an occult altar! We must destroy it! Hack the tablet to pieces! Yeah! Or we can just read the tablet. Felix can now summon Moloch. You need two Mercury and one Jupiter, Jim. Yet another one of those useless summons. I'm not even sure what this one does, to be honest, but... Well, it's not going to have any to this, given my propensity for just attacking stuff over and over. Now that I think about it, Golden Sun is a remarkably easy RPG if you know what you're doing. Or, well, not even if you know what you're doing, just if you... You rarely have to strategize at all to win this game. Most of the time, it's just hack away at the enemy until they they die. You know. Now then, now we have Mola. Uh, we've been recording for seven minutes, according to ABS. So that gives us plenty of time to move this mouse pointer away from the screen. Why was that there? <laughs> that also gives us time to get on over here. Now, back in uh, the Kibombo village, there is something we could do now we have the cyclone ship, but once we get our ship, that won't be too much of an issue for us. So that being said, we will just head straight over to the ship. Now, I believe there's something in that crate in there that we can get a buff and head on up there to see what's Cookie, yes, that's always handy. Give our cookie to Jenna so she has more PP to work with. I just realized I forgot to stop things. So, uh... I guess if I haven't done that already, by episode 75, we will be doing that. Last, I'm back on my ship. Finally, I can return to my beloved to my Wait there. Put sail and let's go down to the power chamber below there. Let's head down. Here we have one of these guys. There's an aqua jelly. That's what it looks like. It looks more like a squid than a jellyfish to me. And we will be dealing with these guys all over the place. They are that much everywhere. So yeah. We go for getting to do the same and create a video game by the way. Well, somebody's back home early! <laughs> okay. That's my dad coming home from work for his month slash drink break. Have I mentioned that my dad is awesome? Because he is awesome. Anyway. More aqua jellies! Uh. 
think we need to kill these two, I think. That is a spell that seals up signs. It is useful sometimes, but not most of the time. Like all signs in this game, it is healing. Actually, you know what? I bet I guess some of the magician signs, like status stuff, can be useful or common Well, that is a kind for another time. This will make a pathway to the door. And now we continue on ahead to the world. This is probably going to be a pretty long episode if I don't cut out all of the Rock the Jelly plates. And we're already at 11 minutes. I would have stopped already if this were still 2008. <laughs> or 2009 and I was doing Battle of the Bloodline. That's which, by the way, Battle of the Bloodline actually kind of sucks, I have discovered. As much as I like the level design, it is kind of derpy in places. I think, I tend to think of it as more of an art thing, really. But it kind of feels like Cast Chaos was doing it more for the art than for making an actual playable game. <laughs> uh, a few of you might remember my efforts way back when to attempt to rewrite the script of Battle of the Bloodline. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing that. Because you know how, I, you know how easily I lose interest in things. Like I just go hard with these characters. It's sort of shenanigans I I have way too many interests and I juggle all of them at dinner moments. <laughs> that is basically my having fun philosophy. Uh, I definitely should have gotten that. That is SNES, it haunts me to this day, even though I've never had an SNES. Uh, because, yeah, on my uh, Visual Boy Advance, I have uh, A and B mapped to X and Z, respectively, and I have L and R mapped to A and S, respectively. But on my ZSNES, I have X mapped to S. So when I reach up to hit the X button to open up the menu, like it is, it is the case with SNES games in general, I end up pressing R and using reveal instead, because I'm an idiot. You cannot decipher which video game system he is currently emulating. And it's pretty great. My brow house is there. Oh, 
about you guys, but I am pretty sure that right now is pretty much Commentary. No, nope, I don't know how to do your game. Why can't Metroid crawl? <laughs> That chest, that chest is for later. It's letting off right now. Yeah, whatever. This is the Aqua Hydra! How all of those squids do together into a snake thing, I'll never know. But anyway, it is a boss, obviously. Okay, I was pretty certain that I had a status down effect on the Jeebo, but I guess not. This is like... There it is! So that doesn't drop it back. Now, the thing with Aqua Hydra is that he is... He being... Uh, a water type is most likely we to fire in the heal. And so you're going to have to juggle a bit between having been a heal and having been a scientist in the track. This guy in the name of the Or he can just be the packing up Oh yeah. Yeah, he's definitely with the fire, but... Mm. Yeah, he's just out of control, yo. I do not like attacks that target the whole party. Uh, he will be dead likely in the account. Hopefully the poor Jenna runs out of the
married up again, shall we? Variety SUCCESS! <laughs> I killed him with his weakness! That is awesome! Yeah, now the Aqua Hydra is dead, that place is flooded, so we will not be going there. Instead, we can go to the basement. So, the puzzle here. You know what I hear is a good puzzle RPG favorite story? I might think of playing that at some point. Or, I could swear I locked the door when I left. It doesn't matter. Once we get this ship moving, I'm sure it'll all jump ship. Okay, now I must set the black orb in this pedestal. Take the tiller, Felix. If you hope to reach Lumeria, you'll have to learn a few things about handling a ship. I think we ought to sail the eastern sea until you get the hang of it. Crazy, shouldn't we be heading straight for Lemuria? Well, I suppose if we have to learn to sail, it's better to do it sooner than later. But I want to get a lot of arrow! And Toby! Oh, and Vale! Can we go to Vale? I'd love to see your hometown, Vale. Shall we? Let's do it! To Vale we go! We can. I'm with Felix. I don't think that would be a wise course of action. Come now, why not? Think about the road we've found to get where we are. I can, but I've never any good at geography. Then allow me to explain. In the coast line of Angara, the continent in which Vale lies is surrounded by a rocky cliff. Huh, you don't think here's a boat land there? As for Gondolin, I would guess the people from Lalibero are looking for us. He's right. Sethus and Minari went a little wild in Lalibero, and you were all with them. Oh, but Sheila can explain the situation for us. Garan and the Lalibero would understand, I'm sure. And then they made me stay in Lalavera! Would you just make, leave me there, Felix? Oh yeah, maybe that wouldn't be such a good idea after all. Then it's decided. What's decided? See you back. We can go wherever we please, so let's explore a bit, Felix. That's a great idea. We've already met werewolves and discovered new synergy. I'm sure there's even more out there waiting for us to find it. Wow, this is going to be great! This sea going to be quite dangerous. It won't be my fault if something happens crazy. To the open sea, Felix! <laughs> and with that, we have our boat. Now then, I will be seeing you all later. <laughs>